She looks so fly in those Gucci slides. Yeah, yeah, I wonder what she hides under her disguise. Yeah, 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 yeah. And all the girls around. Hi everyone, so this is my first vlog on YouTube, first of many, I'm really excited about it, I think it's gonna turn out much cuter than this mud mask, um, I'm gonna put it on my face right now, bringing it down, this is um, the Sephora green clay mask. It comes in this little um, pouch bag with a screw top. I like to get around really good all over my face. Sorry about my hair. Um, I put in this really old, oh my god. I put in this really old, um, what is this? A headband that I brought from BCBG Max as we uh, legitimately like seven years ago um anyway that said what was i saying what were we talking about uh oh this is a mask so i've been using this uh for the last like three or four years i think and it's amazing um any of the ones from this line are really really good for whatever skin type you have or skin concerns you have it's um, it's good. I'm gonna let this dry. I guess I'm gonna let it dry for the next, uh, how long do I let it dry for? I mean, I don't actually follow the instructions on the drying time. I normally just let it naturally dry. And sometimes I get lazy, so I have fallen asleep with this on before. But I'm not tonight. Uh, what's happening basically, I don't know, did I mention it's Friday? September 11th sorry to keep playing with my hair um I just I uh, you know I'm I'm getting used to being in front of a camera again uh oh yeah so I put this in my eyebrows as well and I notice a lot of other people don't when they um when they do mask or mud mask it's probably why I don't have that many eyebrows <laughs> But I never have. I think that's heredit that, that is definitely hereditary. My brother and I both. We have, you know, sparse eyebrows, whereas our mom has very thick, very thick brows. Um, so yeah, I guess it's not her. I'm gonna continue to let this dry, then I'm gonna wash it off, do skincare. Uh, I'll be, obviously. Um, but in the meantime, in between time, uh, we're gonna do some other things, so. Let's get to it. All right, we're trying this again. By the way, <laughs> swear I'm gonna stop doing that. Um, I'm not. I'll try. Shout out to little baby. 200 on an occasion. <laughs> 200 on an occasion. 200 on uh, occasion, yes. Nailed it. So, uh, what was the point of me coming back? Oh, um, by the way, if it looks like I'm wearing moo's, it's because I am. Um, it is... I still haven't eaten dinner, which is crazy to eat or time to, time to cook. Let, let's get in the kitchen. Let me just... let's just go. Alright, first things first, a glass of wine. Um, I don't know what it's gonna be, so we're about to find out. I just know it's a white wine, um, probably a Pinot Grigio. The reason I don't know is because I, I, I didn't check the label before I started filming this. So wrong. It's Chardonnay. Uh, Santa Barbara Landing Chardonnay uh, 2018. I picked this up from Trader Joe's. you see my moo's um let me just explain to you now 
if you're not from the US, uh, Moomoo's or grandma pajamas. So that's what I have on. They're so comfortable. They're the most comfortable thing you could possibly sleep in. And that's a tea. I got them from Costco. So let me take my, it's not a weapon, I swear. It's a, um, it's a wine opener. All right, here goes. Trying to upsell a $60 bottle of wine. <laughs> this one was five. Um, you know, this would not be how I go about my table side service. So, you know what I'm gonna do? Boom, there we go. There, amazing. Absolutely amazing. Just take the whole thing off. We don't have to be bougie up in here, you guys. There we go. Clean off. Everything, everything is clean off. Basically, it turned into how to open a wine bottle um, tutorial. <laughs> so, here we go. Oh, well, if we're really gonna do this, if we're really gonna, this is really gonna be how to open a wine bottle, then let's really do that then. And take your wine opener, like so. Open the left wing. Open the right wing. The swirly bit. Go ahead and grab the bottle. You can grab the bottle. At this point, you can grab the bottle uh, I guess from the bottom. Stick it in, just the tip. Sorry about how that just sounded. Um, and firmly grasp as you turn on clockwise. Yeah, as you turn clockwise. Sorry you guys, I, I'm not an educator, so. Yeah, explaining things to people in an effective manner if you think about it. Like, it's a skill. Teachers, that's like an actual skill. Not everybody can do that. Oh, uh, I forgot we were doing this. So, once you, uh, once you get it in there nice. Okay, I've got it in there a little too nice. There we go. That's perfect. You want to leave a little bit of that swirly part out. And the thing you're going to do is um, this little piece, I mean, I swear by the time I'm done, this bottle of wine is going to be warm <laughs> from the, the heat of my hand. Um, which actually that is something to that is something to worry about if you were actually serving this to somebody You want to do it quick enough to where your uh, the heat from your hand isn't warming the bottle so Most uh, like waiter wine um, Openers they're gonna have This push in bit Some don't but to be honest with you using this push in bit if you can, if you have the choice between uh, buying one with it or without it, I would buy one with it. Makes your life easier. Forget just being a waiter at home. This makes your life easier. This, this right here. So this right here, <laughs> push it in, hold it down while you lift the handle. I guess we can call this the handle. And smoothly, if you can in one in one full uh, pull, <laughs> um, just go ahead and pull it out smooth if you can. And if you can't, as you see, I didn't because I I just got all weird and nervous. Um, just as you can see, we're still good to go. Do not ever touch the tip ever. Don't ever touch uh, the rim. Do not do that. 
if you're pouring, if, if I wasn't alone, I would not be doing that. And pull it out. There we go. As you can see, this happens a lot um, when you when you do it in two motions. It'll just the the very top bit will still be in there just a little bit. So you want to be very careful here because if you pull it out the wrong way, um, which I guess the wrong way, this is how that happens. If you pull, basically, if I pull it back, just if I make a you know pull it back or. Oh, especially if you pull it forward um, without lifting, you're gonna rip it. So don't do that, just pull it straight out. Boom, there we go. Another thing you can and should do, um, go ahead and unscrew this cork bit. This is the only time you don't have to worry too much about top touching the bottom, uh, the piece that was touching your wine because this isn't going back in the bottle you pull it out and for some weird reason the uh the etiquette let me get over here uh for some weird reason the etiquette is unscrewing this from your wine opener and leaving this table side next to your bottle And you're just gonna wanna take your wine glass, as you can see, mine is a stemless wine glass. This is important. You're gonna wanna, you see how when I lift this up, I'm covering a bit of the label. You're gonna wanna lift it up in a way that you're covering as little of the label as possible. And try to show the label um, as much as possible and while you're pouring to your customer. Oh, I'm so sorry, I mean your guest. And I'm gonna do a proper wine pour for you guys. See, I told you guys I keep this thing on way longer than I'm supposed to. Cheers. Also, I'm gonna put ice in the wine because just as I suspected, dead serious. In the time it took me to do that uh, <laughs> demonstration, if you will, my wine is warm. My wine that has been sitting in the fridge for at least two weeks is already warm. So there's that. here is my leftover nochi uh, ravioli uh, with fresh cracked pepper and a little bit of parmesan cheese sprinkle on top but it's okay that we're up at 1 45 in the morning because it's Friday night I'm gonna end the vlog off here I guess I'm about to watch the office my favorite. I'm gonna watch as I eat dinner. Who is your favorite character from The Office? Mine is Dwight. Yeah, I think my favorite character is Dwight. I mean, it, it bounces between Dwight, Michael, and Pam. I know all of their personalities like vary so differently, but there's things that I just love so much. About each and every one of them so I just I just can't choose um yeah so this is my 50 millionth time watching The Office 
and uh, one of my friends told me, she's probably watching this, hey girl, uh, she told me that, I'm pretty sure she told me her favorite character was Meredith, so I've been like, you know, eyeballing, keeping my little eye on Meredith a little bit more, um, this go around watching The Office, uh, so yeah, Meredith, she's crazy, isn't she so crazy? I love her, but I like Dwight more. <laughs>